Alejandro here with Auto Robotics, and today we are gonna go over how to set up the live deck. Finally here, got live deck. So live deck is a video output accessory for the Evo. You're gonna pair it just like you would a remote controller. Live deck is gonna give you the ability to display exactly what Evo is doing uh, wherever you need that display to be. So let's jump into it. Let's go ahead and unbox it. We're gonna start off from the bottom here. Right as you first open it, you're gonna get the user guide for live deck. Once you actually get it, the antennas, you're gonna have to screw those in. They're gonna come over here, right here on the side. On the back, you're gonna have two SMA connectors. That way, in case you don't want these standard antennas, you can go ahead and plug in your own, as long as they do have that SMA connection. So we're gonna go ahead and screw those in. And with these standard antennas, you're gonna get the exact same range as you would between the remote controller and the Evo is still gonna be that same 4.3 mile, seven kilometer range in ideal conditions. By changing antennas on there, by putting more powerful antennas, you're gonna increase the range as well as the efficiency of the connection between the drone and the live deck here. Uh, since this live deck is not communicating with the remote controller, it's actually communicating with the Evo as if it was another controller. So on the front here, you're gonna have the power button, the matching button or the pairing button. That's how you're going to pair it to the Evo. You're going to have an HDMI port that's going to be for any sort of monitor, like a TV or some sort of computer display. Uh, the USB-A is going to be for any mobile device, most likely running the Explorer app. So it's going to be anything like a tablet or a phone. And then the Ethernet port is going to be for your Mac or PC uses. Um, right here, the micro USB port is so you can charge the Live Deck. It does have a 5,000 milliamp battery in there. So it is gonna have a four hour runtime, or you can directly plug into that micro USB port, whether that's a wall outlet or some sort of, you know, charging port that you have out in the field, you are gonna be able to just run a, a power feed into this guy. If you do, for whatever reason, need to run these three output ports at the same time, you're gonna be able to run that HDMI port on a display, run an Android device on that USB port, and also run a Mac or a PC at the same time. So it does give you a lot of different options if you need to get that feed to multiple different people at the same time. And now we're actually gonna jump into the tutorial of how to pair everything up together. So for this example, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to pair everything up and then how it will display on an HDMI display. Um, so a TV right behind me. The process is actually pretty simple. Um, if you've watched the coaching mode video at all, you pretty much already know how to do it. The only difference is instead of a second remote controller, you're just gonna do the same exact thing on live deck. So the first things first, you wanna make sure you take that gimbal guard off, you power your Evo and your remote controller up. You wanna make sure that everything is already paired up. Um, live deck won't pair up as a primary controller. All right, so once you're ready to go, once that's all set up, we're gonna go ahead and turn live deck on now. Now that live deck is on, you wanna go ahead and go to the back of your Evo, hit that matching button that is that green flashing button there on the left hand side. And then your remote controller and your Evo are gonna disconnect just for a second while this is trying to find another connection. And then you're gonna head right here to the matching button on the live deck. You're gonna hold that down for a few seconds until it starts quickly flashing green. And then after about five, 10 seconds, everything should be set up. So now your Evo is gonna just act as if it's paired to this remote controller normally. Now that we have everything paired together, let's say you, you need to go out and get this to your camera crew. You have the display all turned on and ready to go. Plug it into the HDMI port. And just a few seconds later, you're gonna have a nice 1080p at 60 frames a second live view of whatever the Evo is seeing. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, you're gonna be able to use all of the display ports. So again, if you need to be able to get it out to a Mac or a PC, you need another you know, person running the Explorer app for you on an Android device, um, you're gonna be able to do that. We do have these built-in LED indicators, just like on your battery, um, to let you know what the battery life is. So as you're reaching that last light, you know it's time to plug this guy in. What's great is even though this is a separate connection from your remote controller, you're not seeing it you know, on your phone or tablet, you're also gonna get 
virtually no latency, just as you would running the Explorer app or on the remote controller itself. So as you can see here, I'm moving my hand in and out of the frame and it's within maybe a few milliseconds. So whoever needs to see this bigger display is gonna see it again with no latency. So what is the point of Live Deck? How can you use it for whatever you need to use it for? Um, Live Deck is a great solution for anybody that needs a secondary display that is away from the pilot. So whether that's a production crew that needs to get Live Deck in the hands of their crack camera crew, um, whether that's a search and rescue that needs to have a bigger display, you know, at their mobile command center versus the pilot that's out in the field, and really just anybody that needs to be able to get whatever the Evo is seeing into another display that's not the Explorer app or their remote controller. So that was a brief overview of Live Deck, how to set it up and, and what you can use it for. Please go ahead and give us a, a like and a subscribe here on YouTube. Follow us on our other social media pages um, and in the comments section, let us know how you're planning on using Live Deck and if you're excited to get one in your hands. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.